iNews Views, March 16th. The World Bank is offering $3 billion in financing to supplement a broader emergency support package for Ukraine. Western nations are cobbling together financial aid to help stabilize the Ukrainian economy that is nearing default. The money would be used for infrastructure projects and private sector programs that were requested by the previous government. Energy and banking sectors of the economy will receive the greatest attention with efforts to rein in corruption and improve the conditions for the poorest Ukrainians. Japan has backed down from its earlier statements suggesting it would review the 1993 Kono Apology. Bowing to pressure from South Korea and possibly the U.S. to improve relations between its Far East allies, one of Prime Minister Abe's cabinet members announced that the government will not publicly change its admission that the imperial military forced women into sexual slavery. Some analysts report that Japanese officials will be reviewing the issue in secret to appease right-wing supporters. Culturally-themed libraries are being designed with trend-setting exteriors and interiors that provide Koreans with inspiring spaces to enhance their quality of life. An incredibly diverse collection of books, magazines, artworks, and even comic books are available for visitors to read and borrow. Some even have big-screen TVs for viewing movies or individual screens for enjoying a cartoon. Perfect for study, reflection, or fun, today's Korean libraries have something for everyone. Food security is a concern for the Asia-Pacific region, according to a new report from the UN. The study says that the world must increase its food production by 60% by mid-century, or serious food shortages could occur. Agricultural research has been taking a back seat to other government programs, so many scientists doubt that crop yields can be boosted, especially in the developing nations. More than a half billion people could be chronically hungry in the Asia-Pacific region. A meteorite struck near Jinju in Korea's South Gyeongsang province. Another fragment of the meteor was located nearby. Observers are hopeful that the space rocks are valuable and can be a bonanza for the local residents. There's a wide range of market prices for meteors depending on their composition and origin. The Korea-U.S. free trade agreement is now two years old and the results reveal a widening trade surplus for Korea, up to $20 billion from $12 billion before the deal. Auto parts suppliers, Petroleum goods producers and processed food makers were the big winners in Korea, and pump manufacturers, pesticide producers, and fruit growers in the U.S. have enjoyed sharp gains. Trade with the U.S. has grown more sharply than in any other of the global markets plied by Korea.